Greetings, and welcome to the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Backup for Office 365 configuration. In this short demo, we're going to show you how easy it is to perform the initial configuration steps to protect your Microsoft Office 365 tenant. So let's go ahead and get started. When you first get access to Carbonite Backup for Office 365, there are a few steps we need to perform in order to be able to protect Microsoft Office 365, but it only takes a few minutes. First, let's log into the Carbonite Backup for Office 365 portal. If this is the first time logging in, then we're prompted with a wizard to ease the setup. Utilizing this wizard will make the setup easier and get you protected faster, which saves time and money. This process includes five steps, and the first step is to simply accept the license agreement. Then we register the Carbonite app. The app is utilized to perform all the necessary actions within your Microsoft Office 365 environment, such as scanning for the objects to back up, protecting the objects found, and for restores. Microsoft recommends the use of apps for this type of protection, and it's better than using the old method of user accounts. This also simplifies the backup and restore process greatly, which means backups and restores are quicker and easier to manage, which saves time and money. The app profile is stored within your Microsoft Office 365 environment and requires permissions to read and write to the entire environment. Next, we need to discover content. This process is necessary so that the Carbonite Backup for Office 365 application knows what to protect. There are two methods here. The easiest is Express Mode. This will simply capture everything, ensuring all of the data is protected. If your organization is protecting a subset of users or data, then you can go with the advanced registration, which has the ability to filter and only discover the data needed by your organization. Let's choose Express, as I want to protect everything. Simply select the objects to discover and click Next. We're prompted to create a profile for this discovery process. A profile is necessary to know when to scan for object changes and what app profile, which we created just a second ago, to use along with and with what account. We even support the ability to use accounts that have multi-factor authentication. So if your organization has implemented this type of security, we can support that too. This account works with the app profile for some objects that Microsoft hasn't yet allowed app profiles to protect. Step number four is to specify how Carbonite Backup for Office 365 encrypts the data protected. In the interest of your security, data is always encrypted, but as an extra layer of security, you can specify that Carbonite Backup for Office 365 utilizes your Azure Key Vault for the encryption. This ensures that no person outside of your organization ever has the possibility of accessing your vital information. Lastly, we can invite additional users if needed. There are multiple user account types depending on your organization needs, such as full administrators, users who can only perform restores, and read-only users as well. We can even utilize the users within your Microsoft Office 365 environment, which gives you a single sign-on experience, which simplifies the management process and is more secure. Now that these five steps are complete, you can manage and protect your entire Microsoft Office 365 environment. This brings us to the end of the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Backup for Office 365 configuration. To learn more and to stay informed, please visit us at Carbonite.com. I'd like to thank you for your time, and have a great day.